Elsewhere in the area, new housing options are coming to Vermont and it marks a first for the area. It was the first opportunity two groups have had to develop affordable housing in Stowe in 10 years. Local 22's Michael Miller has more from the ribbon cutting. The Lamoille Housing Partnership and Evernorth Company have partnered to combat the housing crisis in Vermont and today they cut ribbon on a new building in Stowe. With the cut of a ribbon, new housing options are now available in Stowe. More than a dozen new apartment homes. Vermont officials say the housing came together through a combination of state and federal funding. We invested $3.2 million of those funds for 14 homes here and two more in Morrisville that are all part of a tax credit partnership. Funding for housing projects is increasing to help those who are struggling financially. Right now we have an historic level of federal resources into the state as you know pandemic recovery funds um, and we've put you know over a quarter billion dollars into uh, building housing with those funds. Organizers tell me bringing this project to Stowe is aimed at building a better community. From workforce to people of modest means to people who are among our most vulnerable citizens this will be a resource in this community. Uh, which has so much to offer. The nonprofit Evernorth says this development is a beginning. It's planning on building housing all over Vermont for people in need. We are busy all across the state. We probably ha we have about 25 or 30 properties in various stages of development, and we're busy right down in Marsville on Hutchins Street finishing construction on a new project we'll be completing this fall, again with the Mile Housing Partnership. Hanford says that even though the situation may seem challenging, Everyone is working hard to help ease the state's housing crisis. Reporting in Stowe, Michael Miller, Local 22 News.